In this video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to your SneakChat Infinity software. Upon opening the software, you'll find yourself on the Insert tab. The Insert tab is where you're going to select things that you're putting into your message. So for example, select text. And I'll go ahead and give you an example of a Best Buy date here. So you'll notice whenever I select a text that these menu options change. And they'll do that with everything you select from the Insert tab. So I've gone and entered that. We'll slide it up here to the top, select our font, our font size, which we'll leave here at five. Now to insert our date, we'll move back over to the insert tab, select time and date, put on the screen. And then from this drop down menu, we can select the date format. We select our fonts, which we'll leave here. Our font size, and then to make that an expiration date instead of today's date, we'll go ahead, you have day, month, and year here. I'm gonna make this a 45 day expiration date. And we can move that here. Now that's ready to go. You'll also see you have several different other options here. External data, lot numbers, shift counter. You can insert shapes images, and barcodes. We'll discuss these in more detail in other videos. Moving on to print parameters, this is where you can set the delay, speed of your print, um, the width, the boldness, your resolution, and whether or not you're using an encoder. Under direction parameters, you'll see we have our mirror, invert, and rotate prints, as well as setting your repeat and then back to this format tab, this is just where you can go every time you want to uh, change the format of something. So right now it's set to that date that's highlighted here. But if I go ahead and select our text, you'll see that that's changed. To set up your printer for the first time to work with this encoding Infinity software, you'll need to go ahead and go to the home screen, which you'll see here next to the insert tab. Now, depending on whether or not you purchased your printer with RS-232 ability or not, you'll choose from here which route you'll be using. If you did not purchase a printer that has RS-232 active, then you'll need to contact technical support. We'll go ahead and switch to network here, and you'll see that we have this Manage Devices button. Now, for the first time, you'll need to go here, and it's pretty simple. You're just going to select Find Devices on Network. Now I've already taken uh, the time to uh, locate that device here. You'll see it's got UID number 1671, which you'll see on the OLED screen on the back of your printer. So let's select all done. And from this drop down menu, I can select any or select all of the printers that are on my network. So now that we've done that, my printer is ready to uh, print. I'm ready to send messages to it. So all I need to do with this message we've created earlier is select send message and it's ready. The last thing I want to talk about is this HX send button. In previous videos you saw we had to type the IP address directly to the browser to access HX manager. Now that we're set up here we can simply press this button here and it does it for us. Using these two software platforms gives you complete control of your system. Thanks for watching.